All right, exciting news. Some things came in the mail just today, and they are USB-C and USB-A card readers, which makes the job of transferring the film, the media, off of the Handicams so much easier. Um, and so I'm going to go. I did a run through of this. Just this is my second time, so we'll see how it goes. Basically, um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of um, got a little keychain thing on it, and each side has um, one is uh, this type of USB um, that you could use on the right side of your student Chromebook, if, if depending on which one you have. And then the regular kind of USB-A. Um, I just checked these. Uh, when they go back on, they actually have to go back on the same size. They only fit one way. So we'll try to figure out a way to label them. And so it doesn't seem to matter which one you use. I'll just use the USB-C. Um, on the right side, I'm not plugging it into the power cord, of course, but um, where the power cord goes. So I'm going to plug it in, and let's see what happens. Last time I plugged it in, the files window. There it is. Okay, so the files window popped open. All right, so when you get the cloud backup thing, I am going to click off of it. Just let that go away. Basically, you can see it's already looking at the USB drive, which is here, and then there is your Google Drive, which is right here, and the goal here is to get the videos into your Google Drive. And most of these cameras, with the exception of like one or two, have a, a file, um, which it is MP root. So if I just click on USB drive, MP root. Okay, so maybe think of that like media production. Um, private and AVF info, that doesn't do anything. So you're gonna wanna open that file if it's not opened already. And then 101, PNV01, just think 101 is usually a college course. It's like the starting course. And um, so double click that, and then your videos should be there. Now, what you should do is get them into your Google Drive. And the easiest way to probably to do that is to make a new folder. And it's going to ask you what the name of it is. And I would say that um, I'll just call it new videos. And then you can click control A or you can drag a box over all of these and then just drag and drop right on top of this. And let's see if they'll go in. All right, and there they go. If you try to open them from in here, it may really lag and nothing may work. So the best way to view them from here um, if you're going to do it on a Chromebook, is inside of the uh, Wii Video Editor. So it says it's syncing uh, four items, um, and it looks like we're all set. Now, um, one of the important things about this folder, and I think you're going to have to open up Google Drive to do this, um, is you're going to need to share this folder with all of your group members. And a folder can be shared just like a document. Basically, you share, click share, and then you type in email addresses, and then everybody can get the files. And from Google Drive, you can put them directly into WeVideo. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Actually, before I show you what that looks like, I'm going to collapse my Google Drive, and then I'm going to go to this USB drive, and you should eject it. And then you can pull it out. When it disappears, you can pull it out. And then um, with putting the card in, a um, couple things. Make sure that um, if it's not reading, this little slip is a way to lock the media. There's a larger um, slot and a smaller one for ones for micro SD. And it seems like if you're holding it so the... Um, the name is facing you, U green is what it's called, then you'll put it in on the side with no number. So basically, it's the blank side has the number, and if you forget that, it, it won't go in the other way. So don't force it. All right, and uh, I'll show you a couple of more things before we get off here. I'm going to get this files thing out of the way. 
Um, and how do you get that into here? Well, here's what you do. You can click import and um, you can import it right in here. Click Google Drive and then navigate to your files and then you can bring them right in to your media. Um, there is another way to do it. Um, you can download it. If you had the files downloaded in your down downloads folder, you can import browse to select right here. And then that same similar file folder is gonna open up and then you can select the files. However, I didn't download them. So good luck moving your, your videos and I uh, hope that your uh, videos turn out to be as great as uh, you intend them to be.